Hey everyone, welcome to Lightroom in a Snap. In this episode, I'll be showing you a quick step you can take to help improve the performance of Lightroom Classic. Please note the steps I'll be showing in this episode are applicable only in Lightroom Classic. They do not apply to the cloud-based Lightroom. If you're not familiar with the differences between the two apps, be sure to check out my blog post where I cover all the pros and cons of each version and provide some recommendations to help you decide which is best for you. I've included a link to the post in the description below. With that out of the way, let's jump on into Lightroom Classic. It's not uncommon to see posts in forums or on other forms of social media complaining about slowdown in Lightroom Classic. Now, there are tons of variables at play here, from system specs to file sizes to various Lightroom settings, but what I'll show you here is something you can and should do regularly. Without getting too technical, Lightroom Classic relies upon a complex database to store all your metadata and editing information for every image you import. One important disclaimer, the catalog does not include your actual image files. Those are always stored separately from the Lightroom Classic catalog. Now, when you import a large number of new images or spend a longer amount of time editing existing images, that database can start suffering from degraded performance over time. To help keep things running smoothly, simply go up to your file menu and click on Optimize Catalog. This window will pop up, letting you know it may take several minutes and Lightroom will relaunch when it's done. It also shows when the last optimization was performed. If it's been a while since you've optimized your catalog, or even worse, you've never done it, you should see a noticeable bump in the speed of the app afterwards. I usually optimize my catalog a few times a month depending on how much I'm working in Lightroom Classic. That said, if I get back from a trip and import several hundred new photos all at once, I'll often go ahead and optimize it immediately after the import just to help keep things tidy in the database. As I mentioned earlier, there are a ton of other factors that can impact performance for Lightroom Classic. For more tips, check out my How to Speed Up Lightroom Classic video, or if you prefer to read, I have a written guide on my site. I've linked to both in the description below. One more quick note. If you enjoy these tutorials and find them helpful, I would be really grateful if you took advantage of the new thanks feature here in YouTube to show your appreciation. Your support will help ensure I can continue to create valuable content like this going forward. And that's Lightroom in a snap.